Hi everybody, this is the Planet Earth here, just going to be showing you how to read severe weather. Uh, okay, that looks like a massive mother freaking storm right there. Look at that storm right there. Can't issue a severe thunderstorm warning for the middle of the ocean. Damn, look at that one. Let's see what the wind is on that bad boy. So how to read severe storms. I'm going to give you an example. This is a severe line of storms, right? So usually they'll issue a severe thunderstorm warning because of the wind. A special marine warning you you know have uh, you're gonna have high surf you're gonna have uh, a lot of wind and possibly hail on your boat that's not good for your boat the wind is not good for your boat especially if you have a sailboat you better put those things back in now anyways how to read these severe storms okay so this looks like a super freaking storm right here this thing's huge ocean city is getting slammed got slammed and then uh, looks like uh, this city here is gonna get slammed I don't know how to say that so anyways, how to read the wind part of the storm. So we already know the storm's severe just by the red and the pinks. Okay, so we're up there in the 55 dBMZs, or dBZs. So what you do is you go out to the base velocity, and you see how white... All right, this is how you see about severe wind events. Okay, you see how white it is coming in? If you look at closely, you'll see how white it is and how... You can just see the wind flow. That's what it is. Let me slow. Let me just go piece by piece. Okay. See how windy it is. See by the white brights right here, compared to the rest of the radar, the whole radar. You'll notice that uh, the whites are bright here. So there's a lot of wind in that storm. And there's also a lot of wind right here. And that's why they issued a special marine one, and it's because there's a lot of wind right here. Now, a normal looking radar would look something like this. Just, that's normal. There's no wind. It's nothing. But when you start seeing stuff like this, white like this, there's a lot of wind in these storms. See, look. Thunderstorm wind damage. You see the whites here? If it's not red or green, I mean, if it's green but it's white, real white like that, that means there's damaging winds. But I need to show you a more classic severe storm to get uh, how to show you it properly. Um, I'm looking, but I'm not finding. Let me try uh, Rapid City, South Dakota. Give me a second here. There should be some storms here. They don't, they don't need to be severe at the moment. I'm just trying to get to them to show you. Okay. So, I'm going to zoom in to these storms. They don't look very severe at all. Okay, that one does. Okay. So, there's a storm near New Wales, South Dakota, right? So we zoom in a little bit here, and we'll see if there's any wind with the storm. Okay, it looks like there is some wind with the storm. Not a lot, but there is a little bit of wind, and you can classically see it right there. So that's the wind core. The, the brighter the green or the red, or the darker the red or the brighter the green, that shows you where the wind flow is, and that's not good. Okay, now... Okay, so that's wind right here. It's not severe wind, but there is wind right there. Let it download the data. It's downloading the data. So the wind looks like it's going to head towards the east, and anybody in these areas would be affected by severe winds. Now, okay, so you see the red here. You see the green. It's turning into the red, etc. Looks like the winds are coming out of the, just by the whole radar system, it looks like the winds are coming out of the southeast. And it looks like over here the winds are coming out of the southwest. And you can also just see all the little thunderstorms that are on here. So that is, it's got a little bit of wind to this storm here. It looks like there's a little bit of wind here too. Um, I also got a severe thunderstorm watch. So looks like they just issued a severe thunderstorm watch not too long ago. And these storms are starting to produce a little bit more wind. And these are close to the radar at KUDX. So... This, this storm right here is definitely producing some wind. Uh, there is some wind resistance here. They also have a red flag warning. All right, so we're going to go ahead and zoom out. We're going to go back to these storms here. It looks like a lot of wind damage uh, reports, a lot of wind reports uh, with these storms. A lot of wind reports. All right, I kind of knew that would happen. Let's go down to... Uh, Virginia. Go ahead and switch that radar. We'll go ahead and switch that radar here. We'll let it load. Looks like this. Looks like. <laughs> it 
it looks like the, 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 the radar got knocked out by some storm or something. It's not really specifying. Alright, that's kind of effed up. Alright, I'm trying to I'm trying to change it to the radar, but looks like the local storm report was by the people that work at the uh, NOAA weather station. You can just tell. So let me go to what is it? K R L X. K R L X. Okay, so let that load. It wouldn't let me click on it because there was some sort of report there already. For some reason, it wouldn't let me click on it. So we're going to head and let that load for a little bit. And there it goes. Okay, so we don't have any severe thunderstorms at the moment. Uh, let's see. Nothing. Nothing. I hear some severe storms right here. So let me switch to a radar there. Hold on. We're going to go ahead and switch to a radar. I don't see any radar. What the heck? Okay, there we go. KLWX. So we're going to switch to KLWX. There's a severe thunderstorm warning for this Winchester storm. We're going to let it load. It's loading. Give it a little bit of time. There it is. Okay, now I'm going to try to show you why severe thunderstorms are severe. Ooh, um, this one's got a little bit of rotation towards it. Starting to develop some rotation towards it. It's got some. It's got a hill core in it. Now let me show you what you got to watch out for. You click the base base velocity. Now you see the white bright right here. Let's go back to the. Let's go back to the reflectivity. Okay, right here. Right there. Not actually right here, which is weird, but not right there. But right here. Now let we go back to reflectivity. We'll go back to base velocity. Now right here, this could be a tornado. Oh, it's starting to rotate. You see the pinks? You see that one pink in the storm at the corner of it? That's, that's kind of... Play it. Let it download the data. So you'll see the, the little pink right there. Let it load. There's also some wind in here. That's why they issued a severe thunderstorm warning. It's because for the simple fact that there's wind right here. And that wind looks like it's going to be gusting over... 55 to 60 miles per hour it looks like now here where a tornado could be forming not that it is but could be a wall cloud could be forming here doesn't mean it's going to issue a tornado warning but there is rotation here let's go back to reflectivity we'll pause it right there right there okay so it looks like there is a little bit of a hook echo there. It's not major, but it's there. So it looks like there's a bit of a hook echo. It looks like the hill core is right there. Um, let's go back to the velocity. Now it looks like there's wind here. Looks like it's kind of windy actually all about right here through this thunderstorm. And that's how the meteorologists issue the severe thunderstorm ones because they look at the velocity a lot. Now, obviously, the people at the National Weather Service have a, a much, much more uh, map. I mean, that can show everything in pure HD and stuff. Something that I, I wouldn't be able to read at the moment. But the basics are, if you see a lot of white in a storm and you live near this city or town, and that's coming right at you. You better prepare the damaging winds. It could be really bad. It just depends on the storm itself. That's why the issue severe thunderstorm is not just for hail. It can also be damaging winds. So usually when you see a lot of whites here, it could be a hail core, a damaging winds, or both. Now right here it has a little bit of rotation because it looks like there's a lot of upper upper disturbances right there. That's why you see a little bit of white right there at the uh, bottom of the storm. That's where tornadoes usually form anyway. If there's going to be a tornado, that's where it would form. And it's like you got some mesoscale here. So there must be a lot of freaking wind in that storm over there. So we'll go ahead and look at that by going to switching to uh, K docks. So we're going to switch to K docks here, let it load. Um, there is a lot of hail up in these storms. Look at tornado vortex signatures. Uh, low level delta velocity at 49 kts. Ooh. Yeah. No. Okay. So when we zoom in here, you'll see where all the high wind is. Oh shit! Look at the wind on that bitch. Ooh, I would not want to live 
there. I know it's in the ocean now, but look, see? You see the bright pinks and whites? That's a lot of wind. I mean, we're talking some severe wind. That's why it has a meso detection. This kind of wind right here, you're hitting 70 miles an hour or more. You know, you could be hitting 70 mile an hour winds or more. That's why it always issues a meso. It's, it's, that's a wind damaging a storm. See the wind in front of it? This is a little bit of wind in front of it, but then you have this high wind and that kind of stuff right there. If you look on a radar and you see that, that bright white, I mean, you're looking at about over 70, 80 mile an hour winds. Luckily, uh, it's not doing that um, on land. But if you're on a boat right now, you're going to get 70 mile an hour winds or more. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. Look, it's even getting wider. That's a lot of wind damage. Luckily, it's over wide open ocean. So that's how you read a severe thunderstorm. Now, if you look at the radar, I bet you this thing's, oh, my God. Oh, that's a bad looking storm. I would not want to live there. I mean, be in the ocean right now. But luckily, that storm, when it developed to get super, super, super bad, it kind of just uh, formed in the middle of the ocean. So that's good. But that is the kind of shit you don't want to see coming towards your house. So if you're looking for severe weather, this is what you don't want to see on a radar besides uh, possible tornadoes. If you see any whites or dark, dark reds, now, if you start seeing any ling like this, you just start seeing brighter than regular green looking, that's wind. That is all wind right here. This is really bad wind. We're talking really, really severe wind. I mean, you could be hitting 70, 80 miles an hour. So I would not want to be there. So you've got tornado vortex signatures because there's so much shear. Look how much wind there is. There is a lot of wind in that storm. I would not want to be there. That's the kind of stuff that's going to happen uh, tomorrow in the Midwest. Some other storm's going to be producing this. So I hope you guys got it down. Remember, velocity shows the wind and hail course. That's obvious. So those remember that. Velocity and the reflectivity shows the actual rain in the storms and the storms themselves. Remember, if you have a severe thunderstorm warning, don't be dumb. Put your car in a garage. If you have a tornado coming to your house and you don't have a basement, leave the town until leave the town city wherever you're living until after the tornado has passed the city well in advance um just get away you know get away before the storm comes 20 minutes you just drive and you drive and you just drive away from the storm and you'll be fine but regardless just get away from these kind of storms especially this this is a meso storm right here right here this is bad so that's the kind of stuff you don't want to mess with that's like 80 mile an hour winds or 70 whether that, how strong that wind is, I mean, you're looking at winds over 70 miles per hour in that storm. And now when they start lining up like this, um, long-wise, it's like a squall line. That's the kind of stuff you don't want to mess with. Just remember that. Anyway, that's the basics. Now, if you see a red, it means a tornado warning. If you see a red box outline for your area, tornado watch. This looks like a heat advisory. Yep, that's a heat advisory. That's a uh, flood warning. If it's, if it's like a... A light green, usually that's a flash flood warning or flood warning. They've already issued a flash flood watch for uh, Chicago area. Um, and the storms aren't even there yet. Uh, I, I don't haven't seen any at least. But they're there, and they're not, actually. Nope, there's nothing there, but they're already issuing a flash flood watch well in advance of the severe weather tomorrow. Uh, Rapid City has a severe thunderstorm watch and just remember severe thunderstorm watch is yellow severe thunderstorm warning box like if it's like a box and it's in a county you'll see this something similar to this this is the area that's expected to see that severe storm I'm gonna try one more time to get the, see if any there's any wind in that uh, severe storm there that's here by Ronoki let's just see what happens if we don't load it don't load but uh I'm just trying to help you guys learn how to read severe weather a little bit. Looks like it's got, a, it's not very, it's not that bad. We'll, we'll look, it's got a bit, of, oh, it's got a bit of a hook. So it's a classic severe cell. It's got a bit of a hook right there. So let's see what kind of, let's see if it's got any wind. Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely got some wind in that storm. See how the bright pinks, they're not white like that other cell by the ocean or in the ocean, but 
they're they're up there. I mean, you're looking at about 60 mile an hour wind gusts there with those. So just watch out for those as they happen. And usually with a special weather statement, even if the storm dies down, you'll still get the high winds. But it's not reading it right now, so I can't read it to you for some reason. It's not reading it. So, anyways, if you see any bright pinks, darker blacks, then this is what you, you should normally see on a radar system without any damaging winds. Just something like this. Something normal. Actually, not even that. Now, on the other side of the radar, you should see something just like this. This is what it should look like. Obviously, if there's no storms in the area, it should look more like that. So green and reddish mixed together, but when you start seeing everything come together, there's a storms. Now, when you start seeing this, you know, that's got some wind in it. So I'm just trying to show you that. Looks like they canceled the severe thunderstorm warning for that storm. Actually, no, they didn't. Okay, so anyways, they issued a severe thunderstorm warning for this particular area. So it's got some wind damage in it, so there'll be some down trees and power lines. Just remember, brighter pinkish and white are not good in a storm. And if you zoom into your area, you're going to get high winds and damage. So just remember that. And that's how they read the severe weather at the NOAA Weather Center. And that's why they issue severe thunderstorm or tornado warnings. Now, there's no tornado warnings right now, but when there is issued a tornado warning... I'll show you how to read that and see where the tornado was at. And you could you can pretty much do this on Weather Underground if you want to. Um, I'll give you an example of how basic you should be able to do it. Uh, let's see, what's this area? Okay, we'll do that. Row, no, row, R O A N, O K E. So like Virginia right now, like you got Sierra Thunderstorm Watch. Go to next red, and then look at the radar here. The radar is down for maintenance, so we'll go ahead and click the Charleston. All right, so you see some storms. That one's got the severe thunderstorm warning. So when we look at that storm, and we're going to zoom in a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and change it to base for velo radio velocity. Now you'll start seeing, see how, this is a different radar color, but it's the same concept. You see the uh, the brown and the light brown? That's where all the wind damage is going to be. Or the hail core. It's either both. It looks like uh, a little town called Richlands is going to get it. The wind. That's why they issue a severe thunderstorm warning. Because that's where the wind is. And you can just tell by other than the radar. That's how you can tell that it's severe. So anyways, I hope this video has been helpful for the basics on how to read severe weather. So that when they issue a severe thunderstorm, if you look in your area, you can see exactly where you're going to get the wind damage or tornado. And then you should be able to give a good estimation on uh, what you should expect. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This has been The Planet Earth here.